Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to introduce you to uh, a very interesting extension which is called Fredo Animator. The link of this extension is available in the description so you can download it. But without further ado, let's just get started. So this extension is very interesting. You can do a bunch of things with it that you probably cannot do with SketchUp itself. So today we're going to test it out and introduce it to you. So what I'm going to do is I want to go inside this boutique store and basically see what is inside. So for that, I need this door to open smoothly in my animation video. What I'm going to do, I'm going to click on clip editor so as you can see there's a bunch of stuff in here which you don't need to be worried about but what i want to to look at is this timeline which we're going to work on it so first of all what we want to do is actually capture this screen by using this tool which is called insert a camera so basically what this is going to do uh it's going to capture this current view that you have so once it's captured, you're going to save this. So as you can see, the scene has been uh, added on zero second, which is this one. Then the next scene that I want to add is basically going into here. So I'm going to click on insert camera again, and then I'm going to click on new camera and I'm going to capture the next scene that I want. Then again, I'm going to save this. So as you can see, the next scene has been added, but both of them are on zero second, which we don't want that. We want the second uh, scene to be on somewhere like three or four seconds. So as you like. So if we bring the cursor here and actually play the animation, you can see how smoothly it goes. So here's the cool thing about this tool. We want this door to actually open. So we're going to insert a unit movement in the timeline. Click on it and then click on new movement. Before you do that, you have to make sure your door or window or whatever you're working on is group or component because this will only work on group or component. As you can see, this is not grouped, so it's not getting selected, but these are groups, so they're getting selected. So what we want to do, we want to use rotation because we want to rotate both of these doors. So I'm going to click on rotation, then I'm going to click on this door. Um, then I'm going to rotate it to a degree. Then I'm going to save this. As you can see, an animation has been added here, so we're going to play this to see how it goes. Then the door smoothly opens, so we can do the same for the other door. So I want these to play at the same time. So as you can see, both doors actually open. So I can go further than this and actually go inside. But the concept is the same. Um, for example, I'm going to zoom in to here. So this is the scene. So I'm going to play this. So as you can see, it comes right after the doors, but I don't want this, so I'm going to just move this to here, maybe. Or maybe to here, okay.
it. So there's like one second pose here. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Uh, one last thing that you might be asking is, you know, okay, I've saved this. Um, how am I going to export this? Here's the tricky part. We're gonna generate video or film. So this window opens. What you want to do in order for you to be able to actually convert this to video, you need to um, download like this FFMPEG uh, file, which I've linked it in the description down below. After you download that file, then find it here. Like if it is on your laptop, then just find it. After that, just open it and choose um, this FFMPEG file and click on open. So once it is open, that's it. You can now click on generate video. But before that, you can choose uh, what type of uh, file you want to convert it to. In this case, I just want to convert it to MP4. So only MP4 is selected. And then I'm going to generate the video and just wait for a bunch of time until it converts and then i'm gonna save it it's gonna take a while but you can wait for it so that's it you guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that subscribe button and if there's a specific video you want me to make then let me know in the comment section so that's it for now take care and be safe wassalam